significant reductions in cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, hypertension, anxiety, depression, a lot of things I have seen benefits right and left. And then comes along HK and he wants me to become president of World Vegan Vision. I couldn't have asked for anything better than that. So this guy's hard work has made me progress further on the field of veganism and I'm very proud of being a president. So on this day of the International Day of Yoga, I would like to say a couple of things which are overlapping. Uh, yoga, as we know, was internationalized by our famous honorable and visionary Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And through that, the yoga has become a household word, a word everywhere. And everybody knows uh, everything about yoga. The question is, what was the ultimate purpose of sending the yoga all over the world? It was not just the physical postures. As we all know, the yoga was originally written down in by Patanjali, Patanjali Yoga Sutra. And in that, the second slope of the Patanjali Yoga Sutra says, Yoga Chitta Vrutti Nirod, all the vruttis of the mind has to be destroyed. After that, what is left behind is a pure consciousness and that's the state of samadhi so the ultimate purpose of yoga was to everyone to experience their samadhi state and that samadhi state can be good for themselves and for the world so that was the original purpose and it still is on its progress as the world is catching up more to it little by little so in patanjali yoga sutra he wrote the eight astang yoga right so that is a yam niyam and of course there is asanas and pranayam and there is pratyahar, dharana, dhyan, samadhi. So all these eight steps is too much in detail to go, but these are the four points I really want to make sure that what Patanjali had mentioned has a lot to do with veganism. One of the uh, the discipline that he had recommended was non-violence. There is a very outrageous amount of cruelty being committed in the animal industry. Whether we know it or not, we are indirect contributor to this violence. So non-violence is one of the main discipline that you have to follow for your own personal progress. And that's why the non-violence, as we know, Gandhi of course was the biggest proponent of the non-violence. Non-violence is a virtue. But if you know about it and not perform it, then it becomes you become part of the violence itself. So non-violence is that's where the animal cruelties are done, the artificial inseminations, indiscriminate uh, not caring about the, the separations of the mother and the cows, calves, all these things are happening and there is a lot of atrocities being committed. So I would encourage that going vegan, if you really look at it, there are so many diets in the world. There is a DASH diet, there is Mediterranean diet, and there is a keto diet and all those things. There is not one diet that says anything about compassion. Vegan diet is does all the good things about the diets, but losing weight and everything, but only one diet that speaks about the compassion. That shows our rich Indian heritage where we do care about others. And if you do also, go vegan, please. So non-violence is one of the things. The another uh, discipline that Patanjali had said was asteya. Does anybody know what is asteya mean? Non-stealing, non correct. The stealing, stealing itself is a very harsh word in the civilized world, so we would not want to use it, but we do it every day. The stealing is happening all the time. The, the, the cow is a mother. It makes the milk for her baby. There is not a single species on this earth which steals the milk from other species' mother. It, physiologically, it just doesn't make sense. So we are stealing. I'll give you an anecdote. I was in uh, Kilimanjaro. I, I went to uh, Africa to climb Kilimanjaro. We were four of our friends. Uh, we went to see a Maasai village, right? In Maasai village, uh, one of my friends wanted to have an experience of milking a cow. So they said, okay, so they gave her the container, gave him the container, and so the, the cow was there. Of course, it was tied, so the cow doesn't run away. Look at the violence we are committing on the cows, right? And the, still, we want the milk from them. So, so he tried to milk the cow, the, the, the milk would not come. And he kept trying and his technique was correct, everything was correct, but the milk would not come. Can anybody answer why the milk won't come? The calf wasn't there, that's the thing. So they had to call the calf, then the flow of the milk started. This is how natural physiology has been created by God and we are inter 
we are interfering with it. That is violence and that is stealing. So it is really pathetic how we, in the name of all this, our convenience is that we are kept everything behind the closed doors. All these things are happening by the industrialized, uh, the animal industry. Uh, we really have to pay attention to it now with all the videos and all that, all these things are available. So we are committing a lot of things that prevents us from reaching to the Somali state that Patanjali had recommended. So veganism can help you with the non-stealing also. The third one that he said was the Satya. We all know Satya is the truth. Truth is, again, as I said, that is the only one species that only steals the milk from another species. Dogs, baby, will drink only his own mother's milk and the cows, same thing. So this truth is right in front of us, whether we want to accept it and put it in our daily life. Gandhiji believed in the truth. He put it in his daily life and he got us the independence. Truth is something to be fought for and we succumb to it. That's, that's very important. So all these things build up and then ultimately Patanjali says that Pratyahara. Pratyahara is the withdrawal of your senses and you build up your own character and your own soul starts coming back alive. So this Pratyahara is where the non-vegan foods are kind of attracting you, all your sense organs. So it, by practicing veganism, you can actually start withdrawing yourself, your character builds up, you benefit and the world benefits also. So if I talk to a lot of, lot of vegans who have gone vegan and we ask them, what is the main difference do you see in your life? They say, dark, I feel good. And they cannot explain why. And I know, spiritually speaking, when you can, when your mind says, I want this, and you walk away from it, ultimately it is the victory over the mind. And victory over the mind is the connection with your soul. Because at the body level, we are all different. Mind level, very different. But the soul level, we are all the same. My soul and the cow's soul cannot be different because it's spiritual. There is no difference. At that level, we combine with the whole world. And this is the ultimate message that the yoga is supposed to bring to the world. And it is in the process, little by little, the people are getting more and more affiliated, more and more aware of the Patanjali's lifestyle. And I think we should contribute by going vegan. Because if you go and do a yoga course, for example, you will get a certificate, right? But if you reach the Samadhi state, you get the certificate from Patanjali himself, right? Okay, thank you so much.